Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome to my very first YouTube video. I am the real Mossy and this is a Battlefield 3 trailer analysis. So, let's get started. Misfit, this is Haymaker. We will commence the assault in one mic. Alright, the first thing you notice when you boot up this trailer is this incredible audio, and that is courtesy of the Frostbite 2.0 engine which also delivers the incredible graphics that you see and the silky smooth gameplay. Alright, I'm gonna pause right here. You see your character carrying a very large launcher of some sort. I could either be the AT4 or a Javelin, but just because of the sheer size of it, I'm gonna say that it's a Javelin. And if you look at the top right corner of your screen, you see two jets firing missiles at a ground target. Now these could either be fighter jets or attack jets. The two confirmed fighter jets in the game are the FA-18E Super Hornet and the SU-35 Flanker E. The two confirmed attack jets are the A-10 Thunderbolt and the SU-39. Now because these jets that we see are not engaged in a dogfight, they're actually attacking ground target, I think it would be safe to guess that these are attack jets. Alright, in this scene right here, you see one NPC boosting another over the wall, and he's going to eventually boost your character over the wall too. Now, this is an interesting aspect, because this whole boosting mechanic is prevalent in a lot of uh, cooperative games, like Army of Two and uh, uh, Splinter Cell, the co-op aspect of Splinter Cell. So, I'm pretty sure that this will be implemented in uh, Battlefield 3's co-op as well. So, don't be surprised when you come across a level in Battlefield where you have to give your partner boost to reach an objective. Alright, uh, let's talk about the gun he's holding. It is uh, a Scarage, more specifically it's a Scarage CQB and it has uh, some sort of optic on it. Um, it looks like an ACOG scope or a PKAS scope, both of which are confirmed to be in the game. Alright now, the first thing any FPS gamer would uh, notice in this scene is his incredible recoil. Uh, yeah, granted that he does have some sort of a scope on this gun and it is going to amplify the recoil, but even still, the recoil looks pretty substantial, so you gotta get ready to burst fire. Alright, I'm going to stop you at this beautiful explosion here and talk to you about this uh, gun that he's holding. Now it is pretty dark so it's kind of hard to make out what kind of gun it is, but based on the shortness of the muzzle, I'm going to speculate that this is either an A91 carbine or a PDR SMG. And it also looks like it has some sort of scope on it. Now this right here, as I'm sure you guys will agree, is the best part of the trailer. Your character just sneaks up behind the enemy. The enemy's completely oblivious right here, and he just dabs him right in the chest and rips the dog tag right off his neck. Now, this dog tag collection aspect has been in previous Battlefield games, the recent ones being Battlefield Bad Company and Battlefield Bad Company 2, but never in this detail. You are never able to see this animation of actually ripping the dog tag right off the guy's neck. Alright, I'm going to stop you at another beautiful explosion and tell you about the gun he's holding. It's the same Scar HCQB with the same scope as we saw before. I just uh, stopped because I like the explosion. Alright guys, that was the analysis. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please keep in mind that this is my very first video, so if it's not up to your standards, I do apologize. And please don't forget to rate and subscribe if you like in-depth analyses. I have a lot more of them to come, as well as a lot of awesome gaming videos. But most importantly, please leave comments, tips, and advice, because like I said, I am a complete noob and any advice will be greatly appreciated. So once again, thank you, and uh, until next time, I am the real Mossy. Tell your friends about me.